What's up, y'all? It's Mr. One Take Drake for the most part. And um, look at this. Look what we got going on right here. We got this scoreboard. Now, I know y'all are going. Um, I'm looking, P. God. I don't see anything unusual. Um, you have the most kills in the lobby, which is pretty normal. I don't know what are you showing us. What I'm showing y'all is this was a better team. I'll say it. This was a better team. This was a better tank. It was better supports, better DPS. This was a better team. This is a better team in every which way. And I'm gonna show y'all how I won against this better team. We're gonna go we're gonna go through this whole thing like by review style. Plus, plus we're gonna add some add some details. Plus, alright, so me and you know, we starting out me and Jai, you know, having a little conversation. Probably about nothing but pure nonsense. But I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I won against this team that's so much better than me. You know? When you start the match, yo Hanzo getting picks, it's gonna be a great day. But it's also not going to be that great of a day because you're going against Zarya. I personally don't like going against Zarya as a Ramatra. I'm going to show y'all why. I'm going to really break it down for y'all. Here's how I see the world. Look, this is Zarya. Uh, let's do Junker Queen too because she in the same kind of box, right? I see them like this. They're these kind of lines, all right? Now, I'm going I'm to remove the characters. Just envision this line, this line character. Ramatra has two attacks, Punchy Punchy and uh, Zappy Zappy. All right, he has a little, they're like this big. Now to damage this line, I have to consistently hit the zappy zappy or the punchy punchy. It's easier to hit the punchy punchy, but I gotta hit the zappy zappy on this line. That's why it's, it's, it's like a, it's a waste of time, you know, versus Ryan who hits in this kind of pattern. And if I overlay it, you can see how less work it is. Now I know y'all are gonna be on, um, P God, it sounds like a skill issue. I have 100% perfect accuracy, and um, this isn't really a struggle for me. It's not about having accuracy, not having accuracy. It's about the workload that comes along with it. You're doing more work to keep up with it. Versus same same scenario. Let's take a, a Winston and a Ryan. Same scenario against the Ramatra. They're these big boxes. Punchy, punchy, zappy, zappy. It's it's not that hard to consistently do. Because all you got to do is get the, the punchy punchy, the zappy zappy, and all you got to do is kind of get it in this uh, uh, general perimeter of this kind of box. Because Overwatch is not a super, super aim intensive type game, right? But I still hear y'all, still hear some of you nerds going, um, again, P. God, just sound like a skill issue. Also, uh, you're on controller. Maybe if you use the mouse and keyboard, you wouldn't struggle so much with um, hitting the zappy zappy. I don't know. It, again. It's workload management because when I'm playing the game, and I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna really break it down for y'all. When I'm playing the game, a lot of the times my eyes, this isn't Call of Duty. This isn't Rainbow Six Siege. My eye is not hardcore locked onto my reticle. Let's watch, let's watch. Let's watch real quick. Right now, right now, y'all are probably looking at my reticle and going, oh, he's trying to hit the Hanzo. I'm not even looking at my reticle right now. I'm looking up in the air. I'm like wondering where that Genji, I'm wondering if he's gonna go left or go right. I'm, I'm wondering if that Zarya, I'm looking all around. There's a whole kind of space. I'm trying to see how I can eliminate space. They're gonna come a little bit closer. Now I'm using the point. Now, that whole space they had, they have two, they have this space and they have this space that they can come through. And I'm gonna be playing off the one on the right because I got the corner to hide behind to protect me. And I'm gonna show y'all how that works. Here's why I say this game, it's not about aim. Make sure they're not flanking. Watch this. Y'all not paying attention. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Doing damage, I'm not taking damage. 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 Am I, am I like hardcore tracking? Do I have to worry about my aim right here? No, I just gotta look right here. I don't gotta look anywhere else. I've eliminated the options. All I gotta do is focus here and keep the reticle in this general area. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about like aiming in this game. You're, this game is more so about making plays. Now they do come through, they you know they get some kills, whatever. Um, at this point, it's kind of a lost fight, but I'm trying to make them not gain as much ground as possible. So I'm gonna kind of sit here. They're gonna stagger me, yes. But you know, it it would work out in theory. So right now, we got the Ana. I'm gonna get the Hanzo. Now in the normal world where I had a Reinhardt, this fight is way easier. But instead I have Zappy Zappy versus a big giant laser. It's not gonna work out. 
Ryan time. It's about doing less work, y'all. Now she's blocked off. I don't know why she's blocked off. All the enemies are in front of my shield. Anna's directly behind me, and I'm on 44 health. I don't know why that happened, but it's cool. We're not tripping. We're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it pushing because we're still in our observation phase, right? And to finish the point about the aim thing and all that stuff, in this game, you want to give yourself as much and as little to do as possible. If you're spending way more time focused on your aim than you are your positioning, than you are what your teammates are doing, than you are, you know, who's low, who's... If you're spending more time focusing on your aim, you're giving your team less to work with. That's why I like switching to certain characters for certain situations. And right here, another prime example. I'm not shooting at anybody. I'm just going to shoot in a general area in case someone is to come. In case her team was following her around that. I make this play here, which we kind of saw earlier. But look, that gap that's to my left, I'm going to sit there so she can't walk out. Now, in every single world, every single world other than this one we live in, she would have died right here. Because she can't get out, and we all just shooting her up. We, we beating her up. And I'm, I'm going to be hitting her. She's going to throw that bubble, but we break that bubble. And right now, she would die. But like I said, like I said, they were the better. They were the better team. So when we go in for this, you know, kill shot, me and May, Anna's going to be right here. Alts. Alts. All the alts. All the alts. So it's cool. It's cool. I think I'll get the gist about the thing because we'll 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 explain it more later. But I see them, I see them. They're wiping us. It's cool. It's cool. I'm waiting for my team. I'm like I'm not pressured. I would prefer them to switch off the Lucio at this point because we do need more heals. We don't need speed or nothing like that. He'll catch up with it. But this is nonsense. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Watch this. What? Like what? I pushed you that way. Then she goes, this is this is around the time I knew. I said, okay, this match on some nonsense. This on this on some nonsense and malarkey. It's on some nonsense and malarkey. She's charged up. She's killing us. I'm fairly certain at this point is where she had about like 18 kills. You know what I mean? Zero deaths. So I'm like, God dang it. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hmm. This team is like, I mean, they're in our spawn at this point with Zarya. They're, they're very confident. I have my ult. So right now... I'm dealing with, you know, some skilled opponents, but I'm also dealing with skilled opponents with, you know, inflated egos at this point. They, they have momentum. We need to slow it down. We need to slow it down and get a reset because right now they're just rolling this. That's what the term is. They're rolling. They're on the roll. We come in, we fight, we die. So I need to use my ult to either kill one of the supports or to kill the tank. Either or will suffice. We need to stop them and like reset. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm not looking for a cluster to get a 5k. I'm just looking to see how can I kill the either the uh, the tank or one of the supports. So I'm just looking right now. I'm just observing. I'm wondering why I'm the only one like up here, but you know, May comes in clutch. Ana's out of there. It wasn't enough. They can still they can still play off of that. So I need to get the more out of there. She dies. Perfect. Perfect. Now we get to get a chance to catch a breath and kind of re reanalyze what we got going on. But guess what? I'm looking at the scoreboard and I see the um, the tank switch. He switches off of um, Zarya and goes Ramatra. Now, what I end up doing, I end up going uh, Arissa simply so that I can get back. I can use my spinning thing to get back to my team faster. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick breakdown on matchups because a lot of y'all don't understand them at all for some reason. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna just show y'all how Ryan into Ram works. All right, let's let's just go over that first. So let's say you got Ram or Ryan and Ram, okay, and they're about like 100, you know, 50 to 100 meters apart. Now, uh, Ramatra he can zappy zappy Ryan shields and blocks, um, but they can't do this all day because his shield is gonna go down and lose health. So Ryan has to get closer, right? Once Ryan gets closer, he can beat up on them all day. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, little boy Ram can't do nothing. But when he goes big boy Ram, Ryan can't do nothing, right? So you ask yourself, okay, well, how do you play uh, Ram, Ryan into Ram? Well, I'm gonna show you. It's very simple. Uh, you get close, you beat up on little boy Ryan or Ram, and then when he turns into big boy Ram, you run away. And then he's little boy, you beat up on him, you beat up on the little boy, 
and run away from the big boy. That's how you ram Ryan into Ram. And how do you ram into Ryan? It's simple. I'm glad you asked. It's the it's literally the opposite. When Ryan's far away, you go low boy mode and you shoot. And you just keep on shooting. You just shoot, 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 shoot. You just shoot nonstop. And then he gets a little bit closer. And you go big boy mode and beat him up. And bam, 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 bam. And then he's gonna try to run away. And you go low boy mode again and just shoot. And then he goes, you know, he tries to get closer again. And then you go big boy mode. And then you know, that's it. So a lot of y'all, I've seen some of y'all say, I know, and you know who I'm talking about. I've seen y'all say. Orissa isn't a good counter to Ryan. Like, I've seen people get mad. Like, oh, Ram is Ryan's counter, not Orissa. I don't know what y'all are smoking. Okay, hold on. Let me break it down for y'all. I just showed y'all how to Ram into Ryan and how to Ryan into Ram. It goes both ways. Orissa, it doesn't. Orissa shoots. She shoots at Ryan. He can't do anything from this far. She shoots at him. He has to get a little bit closer. She shoots at him. He has to get a little bit closer. She shoots at him. And then she can just uh, use her little javelin spin, push him back. Right? He got to get closer again. She can throw her javelin, push him back. And then he tries to get close again. And he, he's finally about to do some damage on her, finally. And then she just goes invincibility mode, gives herself a little bit of health, takes damage reduction. And you still, at this point, you're like at 100 health. Like, you can't do anything against an Orissa. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Like, bro, y'all are tripping. Ram, this is easy. This is easy. But Ryan into Orissa, it's just, it's, it's not it's not feasible in most scenarios. Right? It's not feasible. I'm going I'm to explain it again. Okay? Switch off. If <laughs> if you're if you're Ryan and you're just going against an Orissa, switch off. Help your team. Do something else. The same way Zarya just cancels Orissa. Because Orissa cannot block a single attack that what's her face is doing. Monkey is good against Orissa because look, he can be up here and then he can be over here and he can be jumping around and Orissa can't do anything about it. She's not that mobile. That's kind of how that pairing works. Uh, who else we got? Uh, this this is the only one where it kind of evens out almost. Um, I mean, they can both kind of shoot each other from afar um, and then they get close and kind of like. This matchup really comes down to who has the better supports. Um, and this is what the matchup is about to be, as y'all are going to see. I, I switched Orissa so I can get out of spawn faster. Um, ideally, I would just go Ram against Ram, though. Um, but, I mean, this can work. This can work. So, let's just get back to the video. All right. So, let's, you know. so he coming up here, ready to attack my team. Look at him. Coming in there. Coming in hot. Killed my Hanzo. And I'm like, back up. Exactly what I just said. I'm like, back up. Get away from my team. Stay over there. That's my goal. I want to keep them away from my team. I'm, I'm fortifying. You know what I mean? Because I'm out of line of sight of my supports. But, you know, I see all their team right there. So I'm fortifying until I can get back in their line of sights. That's that's just what we're doing. You know, so I'm right now, I'm looking for anyone. I'm, I'm looking for a squishy so I can get them out of the way. And I'm trying to keep the, the tank at bay. You feel me? Um... And by the way, if you're still watching right now, just go ahead and like and subscribe. That's that's all I got to say about it. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot of Arissa just isn't the most ideal character. Um, but you know, let's just keep it going because I, I also want to ult. Pushing them back, I'm trying to keep them from like you don't want them inching up inch by inch. So I'm trying to stay near the point because I, I just I, you know. So I, I, I want to have that same effect where they got to walk down the two paths, okay? I see Ana going to the left. Uses that. She's walled off. I'm looking for one of the squishies. I'm just looking around. I'm like, who who can I kill? I see him. I'm getting Hanzo out of there. Pushing him back again. I just need him to stay away. I see him walled off. There's nowhere this Genji can go. Nowhere. Not a single place you can go. So I'm like, all right, let's get it. Boom. I see Ana over there. Heck out of it. I'm like, I'm like, God dang it. Now, in this situation, there's not much you can do. Um, and, he, you know, he played this right. As Like, ignore the tank. In most situations, just ignore the tank. He's ignoring me, and he's going to go back and, you know, punish my squishies. Um, the only plus side to this is that his back is going to be turned to me. So, you know, he might, he might kill... A squishy or two, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to accept because it's going to be a guaranteed kill for me in this situation because he already lost his honor. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going through my head at this moment. 
Back shots, back shots. But I still need to switch. Because right now, I think... I think it's now? No. Uh, he ends up switching, right? Let me see. Yeah, so he switches back to Zarya. And it's like, God dang it, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can... We already know his Zarya is his best character. There's nothing I can do on Arissa. It's like, God dang it. This is like a pretty much loss. It's a guaranteed loss. There's no time. I'm trying to think. I'm like, should I go back to spawn and change? But spawn's too far away. So I'm like, all right. I'm just going to try to thug it out. I'm going to try to get my ult. And maybe I can kill someone with that. Because now I got to go back Ryan. Because this just isn't going to work. I need a shield against this. So I'm trying to build the charge. Trying to keep them kind of distracted at bay. And um, you know what? Let's just let's just watch this from Zarya just to show y'all something. Just to prove. Not much I can do. Backing up. Makes it out. I'm dead. She doesn't get made. Or she does get hit by Maisel. Look at that perfect accuracy. She's so accurate. She's so accurate. Yeah, now we're just kind of trickling in. Now my goal here would would work, right? They can't hurt me right now. I got my shield up. I got my shield up. I killed a Kiko. I'm like, I got my shield up and my Kiko behind me. But guess what happens? Guess what happens, man? Guess what happens? I'm told. I'm telling y'all, this is the better team. Look. 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 Look, I don't think y'all seeing it. Y'all not seeing it. Hold on. Look at this. Let's look from up here. Let's let's do top down view. Look at this. Boom, she's ulting behind me. Boom, he's about to ult behind me. And then the tank on my shield. There's nothing I can do in this situation. Absolutely nothing. There's no perfect play. Two ults on both of my sides behind me, plus an aggressive tank with being pocketed. Come, there's nothing I can do. Nothing in this situation I can do. They got it. They got it. So yeah, they wear me down. They take me out. They kill the rest of my team. Easy eat. They got it. 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 They got they got it. Now, here's the part. Here's the part where a lot of y'all start crying. Here's, this is the part where a lot of y'all start. Y'all start looking at the scoreboard and <laughs> my 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 honor's not healing me. That's why we're losing. Um, uh, May, you have only two thousand damage. Um, uh, 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 Ash, you you know that's what y'all start doing in this moment. Y'all 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 get y'all lose like that and y'all just who can I blame? Y'all know what I start doing? I'm gonna give y'all the secret. I'm gonna give y'all a secret. There is there is. One thing that y'all can do in this scenario, when you know for a fact, because it's, it's known at this point, we all understand it. This is the better team, the enemy team. They are better. We understand that this is a fact that they are better. I'm going to tell y'all, listen close. I'm going to tell y'all the number one thing. When people ask for tips and tricks, this is probably the only tips and tricks I can give you, an actual secret. Most of y'all do not have the skill set with inside you, like like I do I, in most games I'm giving 80% and I'm just requiring that everyone give 5% but most of y'all y'all don't have the ability to turn up if y'all are getting beat already y'all think that y'all are gonna go harder y'all say oh I'm I'm getting beat very badly but maybe if I just turn my skill up a little bit that's not happening most y'all just don't have that in you I'm being honest but there is something that everyone has in them okay it's called capitalizing on your enemy's mistakes that's all it is all you have to do is capitalize slow it down in this situation slow down play it slow and capitalize on your enemy's mistakes because guess what right now they're happy they're boosted they're gonna be spamming their voice lines they're gonna be overextending they're gonna be making all kind of crazy plays trying to be silly like oh this team sucks so much i wonder if i can solo ult and jump just wait just wait they're gonna make mistakes that's all you got to do and that's what i'm thinking right now i'm in spawn i'm thinking about it i'm like okay i see what they're doing i see i see how aggressive they are you know 
they're the enemy team they probably got all the faith in their tank because at this point he's probably going 30 and 0 something like that you know so i'm like god dang it okay okay i know what i need to do you gotta slow down pay very close attention to what your enemy is doing okay and capitalize on the mistakes that they make that is how you get out of these situations you're not going to outplay them like physically pushing up playing slow look at this look immediately immediately why is their tank way over here by herself she's feeling herself she's feeling like we suck so bad that she's not going to get punished for this so you know what i mean we try we make an attempt but again we're, we're the worst team you know we're not likely to kill her but we let her know that we're we're watching and surveying and you do that you try something funny like that again we're gonna be on it now boom boom hitting them she had to use all her abilities trying to get out of there right here y'all see me throwing a fire strike you're like oh he's trying to hit some people i'm thinking i'm like hmm i just noticed something. i'm like i'm gonna tell y'all what i noticed later we're not gonna get there. i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all what i noticed she's out now i could try to do that but i'm i'm playing it back we're playing it slow we're playing it slow their their team is too skilled and coordinated for me to try to run in there and like actually get someone so i'm just trying to push them back she teleports i'm like good we need to be capitalized. We need to be pushing a point. But they're still, the whole time, they're just this Genji. And I didn't know this until exactly at this moment. But the Genji has been in our back line the entire time harassing our hit list, right? They've been trying to do their job. You know, it's easy for you to blame and be like, oh, I'm not getting healed. But the whole time, this Genji has been like free reign, uncontested in our back line, right? So what do we do? Do I go up and push up and try to, no. I'm going to fall back. Fall back for your supports. Kill. Y'all don't do that enough. Y'all never kill for y'all supports. And y'all wonder why they, you know, can't make nothing happen. Now, he switched to Ramacha. I'm just trying to get them to back away. I'm not really trying to get a kill. So, we get one. We get another. Huge. But Genji, this is exactly what I'm talking about. In normal situations, I would win, but... The Genji is harassing our uh, healer again. And all he has to do is harass her. He doesn't even have to kill her. Him harassing her keeps her distracted enough to not pay attention to me. You know, having a 1v1 with a tank with one health. The Genji won this fight. He won. Because, we, you know, I ended up dying because of that. They do kill him. Josh Saucy, by the way. Josh Saucy on the sticks. Controller PC player. Um, They do, you know, end up getting that. Now hold on, I, I did want to, I wanted to spectate the Pharah because uh, I feel like the Pharah wasn't doing that much damage. So let me see. Let's see what the Pharah doing. Oh, fancy! Far fancy, but she's not hitting nothing though. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. She's not really hitting much. Anyway, I go Junker Queen. I go Junker Queen. And now y'all want to know why I went Junker Queen? I went Junker Queen for the self-sustain. I understand. And I have it fully developed in my, my little brain that, oh, my healers are constantly being attacked by a Genji. Why am I going to go a tank that requires two healers, you know, to be fully focused so I can get the most? Why am I going to play a tank that's going to make it harder for my healers who are already distracted? Why don't I go someone that they don't have to, like, focus on healing as much and they can focus a little bit more on, you know, surviving themselves? It's things like that y'all got to think of. Y'all don't, don't be thinking about your teammates y'all just be oh i can i can play this character and hit this y'all don't be thinking about how can i make my teammates lives easier how can i make my teammates lives easier right now this me picking junk queen i'm not taking aiming or anything into consideration i'm taking my my healers that's why i picked her so let's go get you out of there when I chase Kiko down like that, I just be wanting her to teleport. I don't want anything else going on. Break that bubble, because F your bubble. I'm pushing up, making space. Soldier, you coming with me, buddy? You coming with me, buddy? Controller PC, by the way. All y'all back up. Boom! That's what we want. We want them on their heels. We want them on their heels, but... Even though we got them on their heels, they're backing up. I'm showing them that y'all aren't a god like to me. I don't fear none of that. Y'all can bleed. But in the back line, again, the Genji was just back here, just harassing, harassing the team, man. He just went and stopped. 
And then he ults my back line. And then he comes through and gets me. So, God dang it. All right. So I pull out the monkey. I say Genji has gone uncontested too long. I'm thinking about how to help my team. You know, I know this tank is a problem, but I'm like, I, I we got to get this Genji. We got to keep this Genji at bay just a little bit, you know. So that's what I start doing. She gets low. We get their tank again. I'm a happy boy. So now I'm like, all right, we're going to push the point again. They not contesting, we finesse them. They're not contesting, we finesse them. Soldiers back there fighting my ash. I didn't know where they were. Look. I see that ping right there, so I'm like, oh, okay. And that, of course, in the moment, you know, I can't see Soldier's name there to the left. But I see the ping, and I'm like, oh, is he down here? And then I'm like, oh, he must be up top. I I'm wasting time looking for him. He's he's about to ult. I'm like, where where is he at? I, I hear him over here. I I'm looking around, but I just I just can't find him. And all this time, me like wasting looking for the Soldier is me not attacking their their healers. I try to get him out of here, and guess what happens? Boom. One and two. The supports came to rescue the day. This was the better team, I'm telling y'all. This was the better team. Now, I already I already gave y'all the secret to beating better teams than y'all. You know, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down. But I'm gonna tell y'all, look, I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. Pay attention close. This was the thing that motivated me. Watch this. Just listen close. Listen close. Listen. Strong as the mountain. I've got a few tricks. Strong as the mountain. I've got a few tricks. Strong as the mountain. I've got a few tricks. Strong as the mountain. Clay. And I'm telling you, when I hear people start spamming their goddamn voice lines, that be pissing me off. It just wakes it just wakes a whole new monster inside of me. It just it just it just it just, it just Ooh, because I'm like, how dare you? The match not even over yet, and you over here cheering like you about to win. You clapping for the battle even over. I'm like, Ja telling me, he he like, man, they in their back line. They just, they won't leave us alone. I'm like, at this moment, I can't see. I'm seeing red. I'm seeing, I'm not calm, cool, and collecting. I'm like, nah, nah. See, I told y'all, y'all need to stay calm, cool, and collected and capitalize on their mistakes. But to me, when they use their voice lines, to me, that's a mistake. That's a mistake, and I'm gonna capitalize on it by turning up and, and god dang uh, killing everything I can. You about to die, more? I'm telling her, I'm like, you're not gonna get a breath. I'm like, y'all not breathing no more. Y'all not breathing no more. They got a widow. Bob's gonna come and help out. Yeah, y'all dead. Y'all dead. And I'm like, god dang it, how are y'all still dying? I'm trying to kill her. She's, she's on the move. This is the better team, though. This is the better thing. But I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get the Mora. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to suffocate. That's what I'm. That's all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do. Let's watch. Let's let's look how it looks for the Mora. She's trying to stay alive. She's trying to heal her team. Monkey's on her. Monkey's on her. She got a break. She's healing her team. She thinks she's safe. Monkey's on her. Monkey's on her. Not letting her breathe. Monkey's on her, not letting him breathe. Not letting him breathe. I'm not letting them breathe no more. They're not getting no more breaths. <gasps> they don't do that no more. Not no more. Look, I'm, I'm putting the pressure and I, God dang it. The Genji. Every single time we made a play, every single time we would kill like one or two of them, they would ult and they would ult the back line and just. <sighs> but at this moment, I'm like, F it. I'm like, F it. I'm honestly, I said it. I'm like, F it. I'm like, F it. I'm like, I'm still gonna get this playoff. I'm still gonna get this playoff. You can keep all my back line. I want to show them. I want to look them in the face and show them I, I'm not scared. I do this. After this, after this break, when we come back, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them I'm not scared now. Now, okay, let me show y'all why I put this bubble here because a lot of y'all, oh, why'd you be playing some random bubbles? We see the widow sniping. We know the widow's good. We know she's hitting her shots. When she's standing right here, I put the bubble there so now she can't snipe any of my back line off the bridge because we know that's what they're doing. They're attacking my back line. I put the bubble there so no one around, they can't shoot. They got to come all the way around here. And if they come all the way around here, I can just jump to them and kill them. 
the safest place is going to be for them to be way over here safe and shooting at my team but they can't because there's a bubble there that's why i put the bubble there huh. so i'm ready and then they're doing it in my face they're doing the voice thing in my face in my face yeah but look at this i come over there they done switch it up on me they done switch it up on me they got a brig they jumping me so we gotta come back we gotta come back but this time this is it this is it this is it i'm ready for war this time i'm ready for war this time i'm ready for war this time brig i'm like looking i'm like okay who am i gonna attack i'm pushing her towards my team so they can jump her it didn't work out but it's cool Brig, you're not the tank. Genji, you're dead. Genji's dead. Out of there. You're dead. You're dead too. You thought we was down and out. I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. Let's get this point. I swear to God, my team was like, they were about to quit right there. They thought that was the end. I said, nah, the game, we, we still going. I said, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. you. Get the health pack. I'm tired of you. I'm making space. I'm making space. I'm making space. My, te my team is going to push that point. And she's just walking past. She's like, I don't give a darn hit. I'm like, nah. My team, we're going to push your point. Y'all not contesting it. Y'all not contesting it. She's trying, though. She's trying. I'm like, you're not going to contest it. More uh, Mercy ults, which is perfect. I'm going for the, uh, the brig again. She, she does her little wannabe tank move. I'm like, it's not working. They trying everything. They trying everything. It's Bob time. It's Bob time. Dead. Where you going, Kiko? Where you going, Kiko? We pushing that point. Most people don't have an answer for my monkey. Most people don't. I'm in y'all doorway. Oh, what, Tracer? Okay, nice. Brig, I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you out of there. I'm keeping that brick down. I, I wanted. I needed to teach her a lesson. I know there's a turret somewhere. We got some priority targets. We got a few seconds left. You know what I mean? We, we don't got too much time to play with this. I'm looking around in my mind's eye. I'm like, where he put that goddamn turret? Or where is he going to place it at? So I'm like, okay, F it. I'm going to fight him. I'm going to take him out of the fight temporarily. I see that turret to my right. I'm like, let me get the turret before it shoots my squishy. Kiko's dead. He's tracking it. I'm like, God dang it. Technically, right here was a loss. Technically, right here was a loss. But Mercy comes in and does her God dang job. I said, if you revive me, we, we not losing. I said that. I made that promise, and I don't break my promises. Kiko, you're dead. Kiko, you're dead. Right? Next target, her. You're anti. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Jump in the air. Avoid the bomb. Shield. You land. And in case y'all didn't know, when Monkey lands, he does splash damage. Torb. Focus on the healers. Huge splash. Huge splash. Honest save the day right there. Honest save the day right though. Yes, sir. And that's how we did that. Now, this next point is crucial. This next point is kind of crucial. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're going to go. Hold on. Let's go. Look. Right now, we got a minute. We need to capture it. We need to, we need to get it like right there. Okay? We don't need to get it nowhere else. We just need to get it past this corner and right here okay right there if we get it right there we can hold this corner we can defend but we just need to get the point past there right there on that spot that's all i'm doing and right now i'm thinking in my head i'm trying to kind of calculate i'm like okay think about it right we know we know that they play zarya we know that this, that's their best tank okay and we know they don't have an answer for our monkey realistically so if i go monkey more than likely, they'll go Ramatra or Junker Queen. They both kind of work the same way against Monkey. So I can't really do Monkey. I'm thinking, I'm like, hmm, I could go Reinhardt. But again, they could go Ramatra. That's not going to be the easiest thing. And we already know our healers will have to work harder to keep Ryan up. So I'm like, hmm, okay. I can't really do Ryan. Junker Queen could work, self-sustain. But she doesn't have a lot of blockage. So pushing forward with Junker Queen, they would just shoot past her. Ramatra is honestly the best option here because I have my shield. I can cycle my health when I get low. I can go big boy mode and get like, I don't know how much health, 200 health, something like that. Uh, he gets his ult fast. I can do damage for when they're close and I can shoot far away. 
Um, plus, when I go into big boy mode, I can block, and I have a big body, so I can also block for you know the Ana that's more than likely gonna be behind me. So that's why I'm gonna choose Ramatra for this for this next push. So um, let's get it. You see them pushed up. We're paying attention. We're looking for mistakes. We're not trying to make big plays. Mercy dies, but that's okay. Keep it going. We're not contesting. We finesse it. We need to get this point to this corner and get it past the corner. That's our goal. All right. Now, let's look at what they got here. Okay. Of course, in this exact moment in game, I wouldn't know who they have. I know they have a widow, but let's look around because I would, I would figure this out and I would do all this calculating, you know, once I see. It. So we know they got a widow. They have a tour. He had put his turret there. They have a Mora and they have a Kiko and a Ramatra, which tells me they don't have a lot of damage to like go knuckles. You know, they don't have a lot of damage to contest. Widow has to hit her shots. And if we stay out of Widow's sights, that just takes them down a teammate, technically. We got Ash, we got Ana. They both have a splash grenade and a dynamite. So I'm saying we gotta focus the tank because he's the only one that can push up. Look, he's trying to make a play. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Y'all saw what happened when he stepped right there? Did y'all y'all saw what the Mora did? I don't think I saw. I don't think I saw. And this was something I notated earlier, right? I mentioned it. I mentioned it when they did this with Junker Queen, when they pushed all the way over and the whole team was bunched up. Look, let's let's play it back. I'm gonna show y'all. Look, watch this, watch this. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Y'all saw the Mora step up? Y'all saw the Mora step all the way up? You wanna know why they did that? Because their tank is good. Their tank was going 20 and 0, 30 and 0. They have all the faith in the world in their tank. They know that if they keep him up, he is gonna carry them to victory. So when he overextends, that means they have to overextend too. But when he overextends, he doesn't know that I'm playing it patient. He doesn't know that I'm playing it slow. So when he overextends, I'm punishing everybody. He doesn't know that he's 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 causing his own demise. He doesn't he doesn't know that. So he's trying to back up anti. If he gets close, he's going to get anti and dynamite. I put that there so it makes it harder for them to walk back. I put the shield behind them so for those who don't know, if he tries to push up. Their heels don't really go through the shield, except for Morris Ball, right? And he's gonna try to stand there and shield, but no one's gonna be helping him shoot behind him. He doesn't, you know, doesn't know that. Not in the moment. There's little things. We're playing chess here, okay? Let's keep it pushing. Just lowering the shield. I see the turret. The turret is my main like focus right now. I'm trying to get that turret out of here. I don't want to stand here too long because of the widow. So, and they know this. So I'm trying to get this turret just so to make them, you know, have to reposition. And let's look at Widow. Let's look at Widow. Widow can see um, this. This is how much Widow has to actually aim at us and shoot, you know, versus this whole area. She can just she can only aim and hit us right there. So I'm just going to play on the opposite side of the point. See, I'm the opposite side of the point. And now Widow can't really shoot us. Yeah, we just lost someone right there, but it's cool. It's cool. We're going to play this slow. We're going to play this slow. We got this corner. We got the advantage because they really, in order to stop us from pushing, they have to come close. They got to come close. I'm staying up. I'm making sure to retain my health. I'm just doing any damage I can so that they have less health than us. He's building all. I'm building all. I'm trying to stay out of the way of uh, Widow as well. And I'm trying to stay in the position to where the my, my healers, they have the point that they can hide behind. They have me and they have this corner. So I'm trying to give them cover. I'm trying to build my ult. And I'm trying to stay out of way. I'm not trying to take too much damage, right? Because this is, again, we just have to wait for them to make a mistake. We don't need to make a play first. We just need them to make the first mistake, okay? So that's what we're doing. Going through. I'm just, I'm just BSing. I'm just BSing. Mistake number one. Mistake number two. Mistake number two. He panicked. They saw it went to overtime. Normally... This is where y'all would mess up. If y'all were me, this is where y'all would mess up and go, oh no, it's overtime, it's now or never. And y'all would charge out there and try to get a kill. They expected that and they threw all their ults down. But now all I gotta do is just wait. That's all I gotta do. I gotta wait for they ults to go away. He not gonna make nothing out of that. He not gonna come all the way in our spawn. Now it's game over. Now it's game over. All I gotta do is wait for Torb's goo to go away. Once. Once Torb's goo is gone, who's who gonna, who gonna stop me? All his team, you see how he, you see how far he pressed up, and now his whole team is behind him. Everything comes together. Goo is gone. 
And this whole moment, this whole moment right here, I'm telling Ja, I'm like, Ja, please stay on point, please stay on point. I was saying it just like that. I'm like, Ja, please stay on point, 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 please stay on point. Because in those moments, for whatever reason, people always like get off the point. But y'all see where we are though. This is this is where we needed to be. We got past the point we needed to be. But in those moments, like everyone just tries to like push out and help the tank fight. Stay on the point. I didn't need no one's help right there. So now we got past the corner. Everything past this point is a bonus. This is a bonus. Every single centimeter is a bonus. We chilling. We eating good right now. We baking back being bull. We got the first checkpoint. We bulling. We bulling. We bulling. We just wasting time right now. We don't need no more space. We already won at this point. The game is over. The game is over. Yeah, they can use their ults. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. None of us care. Yeah, they don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm gonna show y'all why it don't matter too. Now, uh, I wanna, I wanna visually show. When your tank is doing like me, like he's he's uh, ulted by Ana, and then I'm ulting and I'm killing everybody. I don't need you, Mercy, to pull out your gun and go follow me around. I don't need you, Ana, to go push up and charge in with me. I need y'all to stay back and keep three people on the point and keep it pushing as far as possible. That's why I was begging Ja, because I just knew someone was going to see Don. I said, Ja, please stay on point. Please stay on point. Because Ana wanted to get off. I was like, please stay on point, Ja. Please stay on point. Please stay on point. Please stay on point. He's like, I'm on, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. That's all I was I was begging. My word. Let's break down how I hold this spot. I've done this already. I've done this before. I don't even know what video is on, but I've done this before where I explain how do you hold this wall. Now I told him, I said, I said, all y'all need to do is hug this corner. Because when you're here, if you're on it right now, who can harm you? Who can hit you? Who can hit you? Who? Someone gonna come down this long hallway? Nah. Someone's they're they're gonna come all the way through. Who can who can harm you in that corner? I said, all they gotta do is hug this wall. Because the only person gonna come down here is like a Hanzo or something like that, a widow. You know, long sight lines. That's the only person that's really gonna come through. Imagine Tracer. If Tracer comes right here and she starts shooting at y'all, she can't even kill y'all anyway. She has to get closer. And I'm I'm on that corner to the left, so no one there's no one that can come this way that can cause harm. No one. Not a single person. You know, widow's gonna get a shot. No, it's not happening. Not with me standing right here looking back. I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm attacking, healing. That's all y'all gotta do. And all y'all gotta do is this. Heal, heal me. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got to heal me. Keep me up. Keep me alive. And hug this wall. No one can come above you to the side behind nothing like that. So that's how we, that's how we going to do this. Slow him down a little bit. Look. Like I said, she's going to try to get something, but I'm I'm like hug this wall. Hug this wall behind me. So, they go Junker Queen, which was a huge mistake. A huge mistake. A huge mistake for the reason I didn't go Junker Queen. I can easily shoot everybody behind Junker Queen. She doesn't offer protection for her team. She makes it easier for them. Like she has sustainability, but she doesn't offer any form of protection for her team. So this is already a loss in my book. And she has to commit if she wants to like, you know, get any ult value out of this last fight. So I kind of marked this off as a win in my head already. She has to come through. I'm just kind of shooting randomly, just trying to I, I hear the widow to the side. I throw this down so Junker Queen, if she wants to come up, she has to kind of slowly walk through. But um, I'm about to kind of look for widow in a second. I'm like, okay, she can't really make no moves. She can't really make no moves. She comes up, foolish. Y'all didn't see what I just did. Hold on, I'm gonna go this again. Body blocking, y'all. Let me show y'all. Body blocking, y'all. Let me show y'all. Watch this. Shoot at her. Keep her busy. She comes over. Yeah, I turn my back to the enemy team, but it's cool. It's cool. Because they ain't, they ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I mean? I know they ain't gonna do nothing. But look, I, I've become an extension of this corner. I place myself on the edge of this corner so she can't walk back. It's very small, very simple, but that's what I did. She got stuck here. Now she's getting jumped. Out of there. I turn right back around to go fight these boys. Let's watch it again. Watch it again, one more time. Shoot at her. Come 
comes through. Now it is. Put this. I was trying to put it on top of the point so Widow can't really shoot, but whatever. It still works. Widow's looking for an angle. She can't really get one. Because, again, they're, Ana's hugging that wall. She's trying to get the Ana. I'm not letting it. Ana got... I'm like, that hurt. Run. I'm like, get out of here. Skedaddle. I did want to finish, but I'm like, nope. Can't get greedy. Can't get greedy. I need to hold this corner. I need to hold this corner. Waste as much time as possible. We've got a minute and 30, 30, 33 seconds left. They're coming through again. Huge. Huge. The Genji and the tank 100% were trying to make a play right there. But Josh Saucy turned up on him in the back line. Josh Saucy turned up. I didn't need to chase that Junker Queen around. Because, come on. Y'all not, y'all not paying attention. Y'all not paying attention. Y'all not paying attention. Controller. Controller on PC, by the way. Controller on PC, by the way. I didn't need to chase her. Josh Saucy sitting there waiting on him. Just look, y'all not paying attention. Y'all not. I swear, y'all not. Look, I'm right here. I'm right here. Boom, boom, boom. I do my damage. They, they, like, imagine me trying to run over there, run to they spawn, trying to run to they spawn, turn my back to their whole team just to get a little junk queen win. I got Josh Saucy on the backside covering the flank, covering the flank. She's good. They try to come over here and jump her, walk back, walk back around. She's right here. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? I'm over here. Look at this, the dynamic duo. A boom, boom, boom. They come, they come this way. Josh Saucy ready for them. What are they gonna do? Come in this little. Y'all not paying attention. Y'all not looking, man. That dynamic duo. Look at us. We got these corners on fleek, boy. We the corner boys. We just be hanging out on the corner all night, boy. Y'all ain't seeing us. Look at her getting healed up. You see what happens when they try to push down that hallway? All Ash gotta do is back up. All Ash gotta do is back up. Now I did come over here because the. The Mercy was sitting there by herself. So I'm like, dang, let me get the Mercy real quick. Uh, she swapped places. She like flew forward and then swapped places with the Genji. And I'm like, god dang it. I got slept. I got rescued. I got a little too greedy. So I said, let me stop. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. That's that cockiness stepping in. But I'm, I got, you know, I'm aware of it. So I said, let me chill out. Let's go back to our positions. We come back. I'm chilling. We good. We good. They hug that wall. We good. They good. They should try and make something happen. Trying to make something happen. I get slept. I'm like, I'm gonna save my ult. I'm gonna save my ult. I'm not gonna use it. Genji can't jump now. I'm like, I'm gonna save my ult. I got greedy again. I got greedy again. I got greedy again, but that's okay. They only have a few seconds left. They got a few seconds to get it all the way over there. We're good. I have my ult. I know Genji's not gonna ult there because it doesn't make sense. Most of us were already dead. So I'm like, I'm gonna save my ult. I'm gonna save my ult. Right? Let me see. Okay, Junker Queen has her ult. Genji, yeah, so he does have his ult. Okay, so I'm assuming though, at this point, I'm like, I'm saving my ult for Genji because he's gonna try to jump up in the air and be where no one can hit him. So I'm gonna use my ult so that way, you know, he's getting area damage for trying to attack my team. That's that's my plan. But people with good plans, they know how to shift and execute and trade, right? I'm gonna show y'all, because me, I have a good plan and I'm going to be able to adjust on the fly. Their tank is gonna have a good plan too, but they're not gonna adjust on the fly. Look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna trickle in. I'm saying we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time to stop them. But guess what? Their tank, their tank doesn't have patience. And this is where the whole match kind of collapses in on itself. Everything I've been saying, I've been noticing the whole time, their tank is overly eager. Right now, they know that they're losing. They got their, they lost their confidence. Now it's anger. Now it's, oh, I need to play harder. I need to play more aggressive. I need to. Cause she expected to come out here, see us all bunched up, and then ult. When she come around the corner and we're not all bunched up, her plan is her plan is donezo. It's silly. I put the shield behind her so Ana can't heal her. That's not happening. You, you trying to run back through, you slow. You're dead. You're dead. And then I see right here, I'm like, wait, all the squishies. All the squishies. Ana's behind the point. She cannot get off her sleep dart in like one second. I'm like, this is when I ult. This is when I ult. I don't need Genji to use his ult. We take him out right here. Plus, I didn't want Mercy to revive. She tr she almost got the sleep dart off. She almost did. But right now, I'm like, in the bag. In the bag. This game's in the bag. This game's in the bag. And this is when I stood up. 
this is when I stood up and I was asking. I'm like, remember when they was going 20 and 0? Remember the voice lines? Remember when remember when we were struggling when they just kept hitting us with alts? Remember that? Remember? Remember when they were like winning? Flawlessly? Remember? I remember. That's what I was saying. I'm like, I remember. I remember it very clearly. Very clearly. I remember I remember that this was the better team. I remember that their tank was going ham. I remember that their Genji was going ham. I remember that their Ana was going ham. They kept switching. I remember that. And here I am, little old controller on PC player, getting play the game, winning against this team that was way better than us. So much better. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm just tripping.